and the declaration of a climate emergency was adopted unanimously by Santa Cruz city leaders today. This comes after President Trump cast doubt on a report by his own administration warning of devastating effects from climate change. That has to happen at the local level uh, and the state level. And we're taking a page out of Jerry Brown's book right now, and we're going forward with an emergency climate resolution. Environmentalists say the evidence is overwhelming. Climate change is real, and it's fueling California's wildfires. The campfire is California's most destructive wildfire and may create a domino effect on the environment. Also, all that carbon's gone into the air. That's bad. Restoring the forest will be difficult. Uh, if we get any heavy rains, it's just so devastating and so awful. Santa Cruz has been a leader in the green movement with its climate action plan. There are examples of reducing greenhouse emissions. The Monterey Bay Community Power Company, for one, provides clean energy. And solar panels on buildings could be a mainstay for new construction. The city's doing a lot with that. That potentially could be accelerated. And then also just supporting businesses and community members to take more action, having clarity for the community on what those priority actions are and supporting those. The city has committed to revising its existing policy priorities in distribution of resources, educating the community about the climate emergency and supporting transit-oriented affordable housing and reducing auto dependency by improving and increasing public transportation options. Our biggest, biggest problem is too many cars. We don't have alternatives. We need a much better public transport system. The city can't directly do that, but they can help. Crone believes Santa Cruz can be a leader in the movement toward capping climate change. We've done it before in other places. Offshore oil drilling. The stopping offshore oil drilling was, was started here in Santa Cruz County and it spread. So we have a chance to provide some leadership on the climate issue. Santa Cruz joins other cities like Berkeley, Richmond, Oakland, and Los Angeles in declaring a climate emergency. Dan? Thank you very much, Phil. In all, 40 California cities have passed such emergency declarations and have committed to adopt, honor, and uphold the climate emergency movement.